Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will be seeing how do we import the data from any Excel sheet to the MATLAB workspace. So if you see in my current folder, I already have an Excel sheet named temperature data. If I open this sheet outside MATLAB, I will be seeing there is a table comprises of there will be some cities mentioned here and the corresponding temperature. Now what we want is for some reason we want to perform some calculations regarding the temperature for some particular cities. So what we will do now is suppose we want to do this in MATLAB. So we will first import the data sheet in MATLAB. So in general there are two ways to import any Excel sheet to the MATLAB workspace. The first way is a very generic way in which we are going to write the commands inside the command window or the script file or the function and then in that way we will be opening the Excel sheet. The another way to import the Excel data is using this import data option here. This option is generally called import wizard and if we simply click on this it will ask me which is the Excel file that I want to import. So as I already have only one Excel sheet here so by default it has picked up the correct name. So if I click on open, we will be seeing that inside the MATLAB workspace, it will show the Excel sheet that we had seen inside the Excel. Now what we see here is city and temperature in degree Celsius was the header that I had in my Excel sheet. And MATLAB has correctly interpreted that I have mentioned here A1 and B1 cells of my Excel sheet. This blue highlight here, it is saying that the data MATLAB has already selected. So if I want to unselect some of the data, I do not want some of the like cells to be included in my importing. They will not be imported if I unselect this. So by default, MATLAB has interpreted all the cells that are currently filled. So right now there are output type. Which type of output we want? Right now by default it is table. So we will be using another option also. But right now we will be going with table only. So if I select this all data and I will simply click on this import selection and I will get some kind of notification that the following variables were imported here. So if I go and check in my MATLAB workspace to see if the variables are imported or not, we will see that the variables are correctly imported. It is saying that the value 7 by 2 table in the Excel sheet we were able to see that we had made a table in which one column belonged to the city and another column belonged to the temperatures. So if I open this, I will see that the cities are, are imported as the string type and the temperature here is imported as the numbers type. So as we see here in the second column that everything that all the detail that we are getting here are a number type but we are getting this NAN. This is because we had a header called cities and we had another header for the column which was temperature in degree Celsius. Because as MATLAB was expecting that there will be a corresponding temperature and it did not get a numeric value. So it simply replaced it by not a number. So suppose now I want to see how but my temperature data variable looks like. So I will simply mention temperature data here. And then I will press enter and I will be seeing a table. So suppose now I want to extract the value of temperature that Lucknow has right now. So what we will simply do for that is we will write temperature. And to extract that value we can see Lucknow is there on the third row and second column and if we will see 31. So 31 is the corresponding temperature that Lucknow has. So this is how we have imported the Excel in data into the MATLAB workspace. So if I am clearing this workspace and now suppose I want to import it by some another option. Right now we have imported a table but what if I want to import the separate columns of the same Excel sheet. So I will again click on this. I will select my Excel sheet here. And it will again open up that Excel sheet in the MATLAB environment. And then what we will do is we will click here and column vectors. Now in this way there will be two variables created. One variable will have a name of city. Another variable will have the, the name temperature in degree Celsius. So if I am importing this. If you see city 16 by 1 and temperature 16 by 1 these arrays are created. City will contain the data of all the cities that I have mentioned in the first column and the temperature in degree Celsius will, will contain all the numeric data that was there in the second column. So again now I have two different variables. 
in this way what we can do is we can import the columns in the separate variables in most of the cases when we are creating the excel sheet most of the column belongs to some particular function so matlab has provided a good option to import those columns into the matlab workspace individually suppose for some reason i want to plot the temperature date and degree celsius so i will simply click on this variable and go to plots and then we can plot it we can do this any kind of plot we can get here for cities we will be only seeing one word cloud so it will be comprises of all the cities that i have mentioned in the first column that is in my excel sheet and now that the data is imported in the matlab workspace so i hope you guys are now aware how do we import the excel sheet data into the matlab workspace yes there is another way to import the data using the command window using the command line but i think it is the easiest option to import the excel sheet data into the matlab workspace i hope that this video was useful thank you so much